All right, guys, in this one, we are going to cover how to Rex your Telos tokens in the Squirrel wallet. Now, right off the bat, I want to say I did have trouble with 1.0.12, the version of Squirrel just before this. So I recommend upgrading to 1.0.13, the latest release. You can get to the releases by coming up to the help section on your Squirrel wallet and clicking releases. And that will bring you to this page the github releases for scroll wallet click which link you're using linux mac or windows download it and install the latest squirrel wallet if you do not have a telos account yet i will leave a link in the description to getting your free telos account using the squirrel wallet so check that out if you do not have an account yet so now on to the show how to rex your telos in squirrel wallet there is a requirement for voting for at least 21 BPs or a proxy in order to Rex your Telos. So first you want to go to governance if you haven't done that yet and select 21 BPs, at least 21 BPs or a proxy. We would love to have you on our proxy, the HODL Telos proxy. Now all the Rex magic happens in the Rex tab of Squirrel Wallet. So there are two different processes depending on if you are staking your liquid. TLOS or your staked TLOS. We'll cover the liquid TLOS first and that process is coming up to the Rex tab. First you want to deposit TLOS for lending. So first step deposit those tokens for lending. Put in the amount you want. It shows you your available amount here. I'm putting in 301. Deposit those. Confirm. Now after those have been deposited they will show up in the lend deposited telos that is the next step now those tokens are here available for lending so put in the amount of telos you want to lend and click lend deposited tlos confirm that and we'll see my rex balance go up here in just a second by 301 these are telos i already have rexed and you'll see they just went up by 301 TLOS. So that is the process for rexing your liquid TLOS tokens. For rexing your staked TLOS, you come to the Rex tab and click on the unstake and lend TLOS button. Here it'll show you how many you have staked to CPU, how many you have staked to bandwidth. Now you don't want to stake all of these because then you won't have any resources. So I'm going to stake, I'm going to stake five under the here. So I'm going to stake 95 Telos there. And I'll just do the same here. So I'm leaving some Telos in my CPU resource and I'm leaving some Telos in my bandwidth resource so I can actually interact on the blockchain with this account. Everything else, 95 from CPU and 93 from bandwidth, I am sending to Rex. So click unstake and lend. 93 from bandwidth, 95 from CPU, yes. And we'll see my balance go up. My balance already went up. So that's how you Rex your Telos, both liquid and staked, using the Squirrel Wallet. If you do have any questions, pop them down into the comments below or jump into the Telos Telegram group. I want to say thanks to the Telos community for their support via the worker proposal system. And as far as Rexing your Telos goes with using Scatter, that is coming soon. As soon as that is available, I will pop out a video on that as well. So if you are a Scatter user and you don't want to use Squirrel, that video is coming shortly. So that's going to do it for me for this one, guys. I will see you in the next one.